controlled by the elitist. Okay? And he was talking about uh, uh, the poor. Anytime anybody, as was Malcolm, anytime you start talking about the poor, and, and not just the poor of Israel, so-called black people, but the poor people, period. Okay? Poverty exceeds all boundaries. You got plenty of poor Caucasians out there. And this is for you Europeans, you Caucasians out there, so-called white people. Listen to this well, okay? Because you, you know, this concerns you just as much as it concerns us. You know, you've been tricked and fooled with all this patriotism, waving the flag. America's never been what it was trumped up to be. All that's lies and deception, okay? This thing was built by the powers from across the waters. These international bankers, the monarchies, they are the ones who set up America. America's a Frankenstein monster set up by Dr. Frankenstein. If you know that story, he created Frankenstein. Frankenstein went out and terrorized the countryside. Well, America's gone out and terrorized the world. It's got 130 bases, military bases in 130 different countries. To take over these countries, to take, take control of their natural resources, which they have done, okay? And together with the, these, these uh, 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 financial institutions of the Bank of International Settlements, the IMF, International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, they, you get the book by John Perkins. He tells you about how, how they've done these nations, okay? And the name of that book is Confessions of an Economic Hitman. And they've taken control of these nations by giving them loans, just like they just did here in America with, with the people here with the subprime loans, okay? It's another, uh, 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 incitive uh, uh, vehicle called uh, Money Masters. Very informative by William Steele. And he has many uh, bankers, uh, sons, and nephews of old bankers, investors, and whatnot. You, you get that Money Masters tape and look at it and study it. He tells you all about how America was established economically. Okay? About the stock market, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ. Okay, the S&P, how it was set up, how credit began. All this jumped off back in the, in the early, you know, beginning of the 1920s. The roaring 20s. Okay, they started giving people credit. It's, it's called expansion. And then after they expand and print up all this, this, this debt paper called Federal Reserve Notes, and they get people with loans and get them all expanded and get them under these loans and whatnot, then here comes contraction. And they've been doing this over and over and over again. They started this all the way back with the Civil War, before the Civil War. That's, that's how they divide and conquer, divide and conquer, divide and conquer the people. Stretch them out. Get them in, in debt. Okay? Get them under their control. Okay? And going back to the UN. Okay? So they took over China. They took over Russia. Okay? Now the other three nations, United States, again, they built up the United States. Okay? That's why you had Jesse James and Frank James and them boys, the younger boys, they was fighting against E.H. Harriman, the railroad powers, okay? The railroad powers, which again was financed by the House of Rothschild, as was the steel, as was the oil, okay? All of this was financed by, okay, the House of Rothschild. That's how America was built up, okay? And from America being built up this way, who controls it? The House of Rothschild, international bankers, they control it, and it's lock stock. It, it, you know, like I said, the the British monarchy's got a piece. Some of those other monarchies got a smaller piece, but it's the international bankers. Esau, because he knew this was on this side of the the earth, because he had this book of remembrance that tells everything. It tells the past, it's all the way up to today, and it tells the future. That's why, that's why here in this. This image of Nebuchadrezzar, it's the four kingdoms of man, starting out with the head of gold, the Chaldean Babylonians, the chest and arms of silver, the media Persians, okay, the thighs and the, and the hips of brass, all right, that's Grecia. This is history. Go check it out. It's confirmed. You cannot deny this. This is a historical fact. And then you go down to, to these legs of iron. Like I said, most people want to say that's wrong. It's not wrong. It's just the fourth kingdom, okay? Esau wants you to think that it's Rome. But Rome was defeated in 476 CE by the Franks, 
Go check your history. The Franks were Germans. Okay? Germans. And, we, and in 486 CE, at the coronation of Otto I, okay, that's, that's the official date. But it was really defeated in 476. Then when you get up around the uh, 11th century CEAD, the, these group of Franks called the Carolingians said that, you know, the Roman Empire wasn't defeated. It was just suspended. And they started calling this period from 800 at the coronation of Charlemagne. Because that's when they divided up the map like gangsters. Instead of having one person ruling everything, you they, they, they had the fiefs, okay? You know, the French king ruled France, the German king ruled Germany, the English king ruled England, the Swedish king ruled Sweden, the Danish king ruled Denmark, the Belgian king ruled Belgium, the king of the Netherlands. You see what I'm saying? They cut it up just like Al Capone, just like Lucky Luciana and with the five families in New York, all right? And they all were about Christianity. That was the concept. That was the game plan that they put on the people to keep the people in darkness. And if the people who were into Islam, like I said in that chapter 11, Daniel, you keep on reading, it tells you about the rise of Christianity. That's that strange God whom his forefathers knew not that they were going to honor with gold and silver and precious stones. And then it says the king of the south would push at him. That's Islam. Okay, 622 CEAD. That's when it started pushing. You go check your history. All this is verified historically. Okay? The Caliph of, of, it, of, uh, of uh, Islam barred the Christians from coming into Jerusalem. Okay? This is like the end of the 10th, 10th century. 900 and something. And this is what jumped the Crusades. And the king of the north, which was the Crusaders, they rallied around and came against the king of the south, Islam. Okay? And it tells you in that chapter 11, Daniel, like I said, from verse 36, going all, all the way out through 11, going into 12, that the king of the south, Islam, would, would push him back. He would have the powers over the treasures of Egypt, Ethiopia, and Libya. Those nations are Islamic to this day. To this day. Okay? Now, we, you know, and just to finish that on the UN, okay, that's United States, Russia, and China we dealt with. Okay, you got France and you got Britain. All right, well, the House of Rothschild took Britain over when they took over the Bank of England from this great French Revolution that they devised, okay, to knock out French aristocracy. And this goes back to the, the vindictiveness that the descendants of Esau had, okay, who were Knight Templars, like I said, they were called Knight Templars, all right, back in the time of these Crusades, all right, 900. 1100, 1100, 1200, 1300 CE. But it was in like 1307 when this French king wanted Jacques de Molay and these Knight Templars to give him some of this wealth, this money that they were acquiring, this silver and gold. And they refused to do it. So he attacked them. Ended up burning Jacques de Molay and some of these Knight Templars. Burn them up. But they wouldn't divulge where this silver and this gold, where it went. Okay? But it's a conspiracy of which. The Edomites that control the church part are part of. That Pope back there at that time, he was part of. He more than likely is the one that told Jacques de Molay what the French king was going to do. So they had a chance to get this silver and gold out of there before they were attacked by the French king. Silver and gold is heavy. Okay? So they got it out of there. The, the silver and gold never was found. Alright? But Esau holds vindictiveness. You see this with the Nazis. You, you know, and that's something that he perpetrated. The, this evil cabal of the Rothschild faction perpetrated these wars. They've been perpetrating what Mel Gibson said was true. You understand? These Edomites have caused all the wars. That's a fact. Do your history. You got to do your history if you care. Now I know many of you see this and don't. Not going to do. You know what you should do.